So hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural. So yesterday I washed my hair and this is my hair after being washed. I did put it in four sections and I put yarn just to give it a little bit of a stretch. Even though, well, yeah, because I didn't want it to be too um, hard. I don't know, I just put it like that. And the products that I used yesterday was the products from the Revere line. And this is their new Extreme Hydrate, oh my goodness, product. That's the only thing I used in my hair. And my hair feels so nice and soft. You can see how nice and soft it feels. So now I'm going to blow it out. And of course, you know, I got to use the Revere. I'm going to use the Revere to blow it out. Yes, of course. So let's get started on this. So before I blow it out, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my heat protectant. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use my heat protectant. And um, I'm trying to create this video and create a reel at the same time. So bear with me. My Chanel again. Okay. So now... What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to section to make it easy for me to do this so that I can go through it. I'm just going to section my hair into smaller parts and um, so that I can blow it out. So I'm just, I want to section it before I blow it out. So I'm just going to section it into smaller parts to make it easier for me when I blow it out. And um, I could just grab and go. Maybe I'll try the grab and go, go method. So I'm just going to show you a couple of sections when I am blowing it out. Right? So let's do this. I have all my clips here. So let's turn it on. And let's get started in blowing this out. So one of the things that people want to know is, is it okay to use heat in your hair to blow dry your natural hair? And I'm going to share with you my technique and my, um, what I think, what I think. Okay. So this is the thing. Anything can be bad for your hair. Any method, heat, chemicals, all that stuff can be bad. We know for sure that for natural hair, relaxers is a no-no. It will damage your hair. We know that chemicals will damage your hair. We know that if you use color in your hair, depending on what color you use, the color can actually damage your hair. But when it comes to heat also, we also know that some form of heat can damage your hair. Direct heat, like using flat iron and not using a heat protector, or also using flat iron or any heat device and using it on high heat can also damage your hair if you don't protect your hair. So what I'm doing now is I am using, I'm on low. I'm actually using a low setting. You can see how my hair is. I'm using a low setting and that is what I'm using when I'm blowing out my hair to show you that you can actually straight, straighten your hair using low setting, using low heat, even using cool heat, you cool straighten your hair. It all depends on how straight do you want your hair to be. Next, I also want you to know that for some people, they find that when they heat style their hair or heat train their hair or use their or stretch out their hair, we'll say, keeping their hair in a stretch out form actually helps with length retention, actually helps with moisture retention. So you have to understand your hair, right? So you see my hair right now, this is the length I am and I'm using the cool heat. One thing you should realize is that when your hair is stretched, or straighten it as a way of holding on to more moisture because guess what you know like caucasian hair that is straight and their hair gets kind of greasy and stuff because they're all in their sebum can travel down the shaft with our hair our hair is very curly so it gets dry very easily so when our hair is stretched in a stretch form it as a way of number one not getting tangled and breaking. Number two, also staying moisturized because our sebum can travel, the sebum oil can travel down. So these are many things you can do. It is not that you should have a fear of heat. For me, I've never ever flat iron my natural hair just because I really don't feel the need to. Does that mean I will never ever 
flat iron my hair. No, it just feels like at the stage and point I am in my life right now, I don't see the need to stretch my hair out. Now, there's a school of thought or a school of people, I call them the Nazi natural hair people, that say, once you put heat in your hair, your hair is no longer natural. If that is you, do you, do what works for your hair. If your hair thrives on using a little bit of heat to help it, do you. Now, for me, I don't stretch my hair like this all the time. Most of the time, I'll do the threading or I'll just twist up my hair because I don't wear my hair in a stretched manner all the time. I tell you, like 70% of the time, my hair is in twist or corn roll or in a protective style. Uh, that's because of nature of my lifestyle. That is another thing. You have to think about your lifestyle. What is your lifestyle? Does your lifestyle work with the style and the hair technique that you use? We have to come to a realization. We just have to do what works for our hair. So many times we kind of trap ourselves into this box that don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that. And we limit ourselves in understanding what our hair really thrives on. So people, some people say, no oils, no hair butter. Just use water in your hair and you'll be good. Well, that will work for some people. But will that work for you if you live in a place where it's dusty and your um, lifestyle is sweaty and all that stuff? No, that will you just develop scalp issue. So when we enter into 2024, I don't know when you're watching this, just have the mindset of trying out what works for you. Don't put yourself in a box. And that brings me to a topic that I'm going to talk about soon, which is why I do not do all this um, natural hair. You know, people will say, oh, let's do a challenge, hair growth challenge, all that stuff. I keep on saying I'm going to do that video. I will do that video. But right now, my hair is nearly finished. I just did a little blowout. Yes, it's not stretched to its longest length, but I really don't care. <laughs> right now, I just want my hair to be in a stretch form so that I can put in some corn rolls and have my daughter put in some corn rolls. So that's why you have to do what works for you. I love using the Revere because the Revere, I've never experienced any damage and it works quickly and I'm not raking through my hair. That's another thing that happens when you use some form of heat. You are waking through your hair. But what the Revere does, the Revere just helps you to stretch out your hair in that form. You can see how much stretched and it is. This is what it looks like after I finish blowing it out. And I've just, I've not brushed it or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the oil. This is the Revere oil. Just to... Just a little bit of the oil, just sealing all that goodness. I didn't do it super straight, but this is just what I did. Okay. So this is my hair now for the beginning of the year. That's how long it is. Okay. Can brush it out real good. So I used low heat. I didn't use the high heat. I used the low heat setting. Low heat setting. That's what I used. And yeah. As you can see it's nice and shiny. Okay, and that is it. All done. <laughs> now to find out what to do with this hair, because I'm going to get hot soon. <laughs> 